dating a Mexican dude. What's his name? Huh? What's his name? His name was Michael, like Michael, but I called him Micha. So I was dating Micha, and my family wasn't really a big fan of him anyway. He was like <laughs> verbally abusive, like horrible. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, we were sitting in the park behind my house, and we were sitting just on like the sidewalk. And it was back in the day when overalls were like <laughs> so cool. There's a mirror on the left. Huh? There's a mirror on the left. Oh, okay. be careful. So I had my overalls on and a tank top, and I was <laughs> pretty hot. And we get up and we start walking over to his house. Well, all of a sudden, I feel this like pain to my stomach, like a needle was poking in my, in my stomach, like right by my belly button. And so I put my hand in my overalls, and I felt this, like, long thing with, uh, it was almost like a pine needle kind of a thing. So I went like this, and it goes down my leg. Oh. Next thing I know, <laughs> this centipede that's like 13 inches long is crawling up between my shirt and my overalls, like crawling up right between my boobs, and it goes down into my overall oh. pocket. So at that point, I lose all ability to speak Spanish. <laughs> and I'm saying, centipede, centipede, centipede. <laughs> and he was like, centipede, centipede. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and so he, are you finding this? Don't mind I'm not biting it. <laughs> Especially this part. I'm not biting it. So, obviously, we have to get the centipede out of my clothes. <laughs> so we undo my overalls. My sister was with us, by the way. She was walking down the street from us a little bit. We undo my overalls, and he's holding my overall pocket out this way, like, just to keep the centipede inside the overalls. Kelsey turns around and sees him holding my overalls <laughs> halfway off, and she comes and starts like wailing on this dude. Like, what the fuck are you doing to my sister? You know? <laughs> well, by this time, I'm starting to get dizzy, abdominal cramps, chest pain. Like, it was really, 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 apparently, they're really poisonous. <laughs> oh my God. And um, so. Tell Kelsey to go down to his house and call my parents. And so she does. Well, we go into the bathroom and we have to get my overalls off. Okay. So we go into the bathroom and we take my overalls off and Kelsey comes into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> She starts wailing on him again, like she doesn't understand what is happening here. <laughs> and so his mom is trying to be helpful and brings me a glass of milk, which I milk. still don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, my parents, I'm like about to pass out at this point. My parents pull up in this very van, actually. In this van? Yeah, and take me to the hospital. Here. Take me to the hospital. And they have to give me like this anti-venom stuff. <laughs> and the last thing that I remember, <laughs> last thing I remember is them pushing this medicine into an IV, and I'm looking at my mom, and she starts turning blue <laughs> from like here all the way up, and her throat swells up like a frog. I was like, oh, you look funny, and then. I passed out. <laughs> and I had to stay in the hospital in Mexico overnight and they were doing like EKGs and stuff. Oh and, my gosh. <laughs> like they put the um, centipede in a Ziploc bag <laughs> then brought it to the emergency room <laughs> and the doctor took one look at it and was like, you need to stay here tonight. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Apparently it's like between a scorpion and a black widow like what? as far as the poison goes. Yeah. Oh so I'm now I'm like traumatized by centipedes. I didn't know you were that traumatized. Oh, I'm, I'm like so 